Hi, my name is Wes Scott. I'm with Archways and Celia's Men Easy. I'm out here in the country heading out to a job for Long Acre Construction. They're hanging their first growing vault today, and I thought I'd come out and see how they do. How to frame a growing vault ceiling. Daryl Shields with Long Acre Construction I framed a cross brace in the center of his ceiling in preparation for one of our growing vaults. What we're doing now with the CAD provided by Archways and Ceilings is we're measuring and marking where each growing vault strut is going to be located. This is very important because we're going to do this for all four sides. This is going to take all the thinking out of it. What we do here is we're going to nail, with one nail, just tack it into the cross brace, the outermost strut. In this particular case, it's a half of a strut. And we're going to repeat for the other side. Just line it up there and nail. And since he can't reach the corner or the spring point of the growing vault, he's just going to tack it into the wall. This is just going to hold it there until we can come back and re-nail everything to securely fasten it. Moving inward from the outermost strut, skip any other struts that are made in halves. In this particular case, we had to skip over two rows. You're just going to line up the centers to your center brace and nail. It is that easy. Daryl Shields, uh, this is actually his first growing vault with archways and ceilings. In fact, he's actually never framed one out of plywood or 2x4s either. After seeing this method, he said he wouldn't do it any other way. This is just too easy not to. So he just tacks it right on in. And once he completes one side, he's going to flip over and get on to the other side. And you can do this for all four sides. Just start installing your growing vault struts. Just bam, in, bam, in, move, move. Don't worry about the angles lining up on the corners because we're going to come back through with a trim nailer and make sure we fasten those all nice and neatly together. All you're, all you're doing is focusing on just nailing them up to your cross brace. Now once you have that completed, we can actually move back to the half struts that we skipped over earlier since we have frame in there now to fasten them to. And just nail it in. As you notice, the angles are coming together nice and neat. Everything's looking great. The growing vault's taking shape. Daryl's getting excited. He mentioned, he's like, oh, I gotta take a few pictures of this when I'm done. I mean, if you know how to use a nail gun and measuring tape, this growing vault is a cinch. I mean, the cats tell you where to put it. Each piece has a place. There's a little room for air. Every growing vault has a long side and a short side. In this particular case, the short side is relatively much shorter than the long side. because It's a rectangle. All you got to do is just tack it in. Once you've completed all the struts, you can move to the inner piece. What you're going to get here is four little triangles. And this is where you're going to hang your chandelier or whatever type of lighting you're going to need to light up your growing vault ceiling. In this particular case, it's in a dining room. Once you've completed that, you can use your trim nailer. And like I said before, go back and nail all those corners nice and tightly together. Then after you finish that, you want to make sure you go back through and add any bracing or cripples to, to support the uh, growing vault ceiling. And then that's it. You're done. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed how to frame a growing vault ceiling. For more information, go to longacreconstruction.com. Or, to learn more about these beautiful ceilings, go to archwaysandceilings.com.